Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we're going to make a French martini. But will it teach me how to speak French? Let's find out. It's great to have everyone of you back here today. We are going to learn to speak French. So grab your pineapple and say, Je m'appelle David. Ça va? and hope that the uh, pineapple says something back to you in any language. And even if it doesn't, it's going to be the cause that we're going to murder it later just for our garnish. So we are making the French martini today. And interestingly enough, it's not really a martini, just like many of the martinis that use the name martini. It's, it's weird, I know, it's one of those things. However, the drink was made in the 1980s at one of McNally's bars, and it wound up on the drinks menu of Balthazar, which was one of his restaurants. This helped to usher in the flavored martini craze of the 90s. So we have a little bit of history and a little bit of interest with this. And you know what? Pineapple, vodka, and some raspberry. Well, actually blackberry, look here. Sounds really good. Let's get into it. So you need to take your shaking glass and we're gonna push the soon to be dead pineapple out of the way. And you're gonna grab your vodka of choice. I'm using uh, tag number five vodka. It's a Canadian vodka that's local to where I am. Uh, and we're gonna use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now we are using the recipe from differsguide.com. I also have the book and what I'll do is I'll put a link to his book down in the description down below for you to take a look at. We also need a half an hour of half an hour half an ounce or 15 mils of a blackberry liqueur. So I'm using Chambord's here and the, uh, you could choose to use whichever uh, blackberry liqueur you want, something from Giffard, which I can't get in the province where I live, or you could use a creme de cassis as you would find on the liquor.com website. And uh, you know, it just gives you that little bit of something. The next thing we need is a little bit of pineapple juice. So what I've got is a uh, pure pressed pineapple juice of 100%, so there's no added sugars, no added sweeteners or modifying agents, and it doesn't want to let me... Screw you. Anyways, where was I? We needed an ounce and a half, which works out to 45 mils of your pineapple juice. So it's looking pretty good. It smells good too. I've got that pineapple-y goodness. You, get out of my way. You're gonna die soon. Grab your ice in your scoop, which is, aha. Uh -huh. And we're gonna shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Slam your top on, make sure that you're lined up, slap your thumb in there and give it a shake. Slap the top off it. So you stop shaking at about the time that your hands and fingers start to freeze and tell you I've had enough of that. And then you grab your cocktail glass of choice, which is of course, in this case, the martini glass. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine strain this for you using of course my tea strainer and my standard pouring. Look at that. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It is however, not as red as I would have thought it would have been. Now we need to garnish this. You don't have to garnish this. However, I've brought the sacrificial pineapple out just for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna behead it like so. And we need one pineapple wedge. So whatever thickness you wanna do, you're gonna just give it a nice little wedge like so. And we're going to just give it a slight slice in the center and make it look pretty. Look at that. Absolutely tasty looking. You could almost put, you know what? Grab a frond, balance this here because, you know, head on a spike type thing. I think my, uh, uh, grab a little bit of your frond. And you know what? We'll just put that right there. Cause it looks nice. 
And of course, Pac-Man, chomp, 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 chomp. We'll go chase the ghost over there. Let's give it a sniff. Well, it smells really good. You smell the pineapple coming off the top immediately and you smell just a little bit of your blackberry liqueur. Take your garnish, wiggle it around. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. It is very vodka forward. The flavors are nice. You could probably cut this back about half an ounce to an ounce and a half of vodka. That would probably be my preference to it. Uh, or you could add a little bit more of the blackberry liqueur because the vodka comes out so strong in this. The pineapple doesn't hide it. It's not supposed to. Like a, a good martini, it is a very liquor forward cocktail. Mm, yum. You get this gorgeous foam on top. Mm. You get an instant tasty treat. Oh yeah, like and subscribe for an instant tasty treat. If this is your first time to my channel, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check out our Patreon uh, website at patreon.com forward slash booze under rocks. And you know what? Give this cocktail a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. My name is David Edwards and today we're gonna make a French martini. But is it gonna teach me how to make, how to make French? Two vodka cocktails, including the vodka martini. But, now the, uh, hit stop. But, the but doesn't make sense.